What is up, everybody? Andrew Mahoney here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Going to be streaming some Pokemon trading card game online this morning. Thursday morning, part of my new rotation here on Twitch. Going to be streaming every single weekday, Monday through Friday. We got Monday nights at 8 p.m. We've got Tuesday mornings, Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. for our tabletop tournament here at Full Grip. And then Thursday and Friday mornings. Rounding out my schedule, I'm excited to be on the weekday grind here. I'm excited to be streaming every day. It's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it. Glad that we have the viewership to support it as well. Y'all rock. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, everybody that's here on Thursday morning. We're going to be dropping some fire today. We've got some Turbo Snorlax. If you guys caught my video on YouTube this morning, you might have seen the Turbo Lax deck. Might be giving that a shot. And then also, let me know if the screen is doing some weird stuff, okay, on Twitch. Let me know if it's like glitching or flashing. Uh, if you check my Twitter, anybody who's interested, if you want to check at Enjoy Friend and check my latest tweet, I just tweeted out a video of this error that I'm getting on PTCGO when I try to start. And it's uh, it's been really actually uh, kind of devastating lately, actually. Uh, last couple days, I've tried to boot up PTCGO, and I just get this red flashing screen of death. Now, the video that I posted on Twitter doesn't really do it justice, okay? But you can still kind of get a sense of what I'm dealing with by looking at the video, right? Now, just all of that red screen in the video that I posted is just, imagine it flashing like a strobe light, right? It's crazy. Every time I try to boot up PTCGO, my screen just starts flashing like a strobe light, and then it makes my monitor actually. Now, that's the crazy thing is I can't tell if it's like, if it makes my monitor flash or if my eyes just take like 10 minutes to adjust after seeing the red blinking light to like make it think that my monitor's not flashing anymore. Cause like my monitor, I'm like looking at it now and it's started to, to kind of calm down and doesn't really seem like it's flashing anymore. But it, uh, <laughs> it's been really rough to deal with. I'll try to boot up, like I'm just having my coffee, I'll boot up PTCGO and then I get this giant red like strobe light flashing screen of death and it uh, makes me very nervous. So anyways, seems to have calmed down now so long as my stream isn't isn't flashing for you guys like it was for me. I could still tell it, my screen looks a little uneasy to me, but it, it seems to be fine-ish, I think. I spent like 45 minutes trying to get my stream to stop flashing yesterday after this PTCGO error. Yes, and happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I hope you all enjoy your Valentine's Day. It's our Valentine's Day stream. Hope you guys all have somebody special picked out in your heart to uh, to wish a happy Valentine Valentine's Day to. I'd like to take this moment to wish a happy Valentine's Day to my mom. Love you, mom, and also Natalie, of course. Love you, Natalie. Natalie got me the nicest card this morning. It was very, very thoughtful. Loved the card, Natalie. Thank you so much for that. We are starting things off this morning with Turbo Lax. All right, Turbo Snorlax. And what a busted hand this is. We are going second, but this hand is completely busted wide open. Uh, yeah, what more could we possibly want out of a Turbo Lax deck? Like, check this out, dude. We've got the opening Jirachi. We have got the benched EV Snorlax, dude. We're like ready to roll. Let's get it. And we're playing. <laughs> No. Why, for like the time that I have the most broken opening Turbo Lax hand, why am I playing against some sort of Hitmonchan? What did I do to the PTCGO ladder to deserve this? Can someone please answer me that question? <laughs> why? Oh, thank you, idiots are us. Appreciate it. Yes, happy Valentine's Day. All right. So uh, this is fine. Uh, this is totally fine. We are we're fine out here. Uh, did we get the? Uh, I didn't see the animations. Did the animation work on that? 
Let me know. Did the Pikachu come up and do the kickflip? Okay, because I didn't see the animation, so I'm worried that that, that wasn't working. Anyways, we're going to, sure, just uh, key our way to the active here. Let's just get those uh, four energy up on that active Snorlax and uh, get him up and a rolling, balling. All right, so let's see. Event tracker, chat, yeah, donation ticker. No, it's not here. Ah, I will, I will get it. Let's get, uh, I'm not logged into Streamlabs. We should get logged into Streamlabs. I should have done that. Thank you, Idiots R Us, for the morning bits. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get that alert box out here. All right, I'm going to copy it. Sure. And then I guess I just need to add a, uh, I think I could probably do this. I've never done this while live, but we're going to try and add the alert box in here while live. Uh, let's see, add existing alert box. Alrighty then. Yeah, we should be good. All right, let's, uh, let's test it out. I'm gonna test it here. See, I'm gonna test a, test a subscription. Busted, I just said to myself. All right, alert box activated. I don't know where that alert box went, but it is, uh, it's here. And the chat disappeared? No, everything should be, all my ducks should be in a row now. How did this thing sustain 200 damage? Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Guys, I don't know how this happened like this, but I don't think that we're going to be able to beat the Hitmonchan deck, all right? I know it's sad, but I just don't think that it's, this is the matchup for us, all right? It's just not the matchup for us, unfortunately. We did our best. I have to dump truck press this thing and just take 60 damage to the head. There's no way around. Honestly, oh yes, good morning, Op Polly. Good morning, everybody. Our EV Snorlax deck is doing exactly what we want it to do. My opponent is just <laughs> using this hit and run strategy. Oh no. Oh, thank you for the math breakdown there, uh, Dankus. I appreciate that. Math is very difficult for me. So you already know that, listen, man, we need to we need to scoop things up over here. I don't think that there's any hope in me winning this game uh, with, <laughs> with this madness going on. Oh, no. This is horrible. I, and I guess this guy resists fighting. All right, I'm going to try and rally back, see if we can't, you know do something here. I guess I'll, uh, I'm just going to start building up this ho -Oh, I think. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'm going to ultra ball this hand down. We're just going to get ho -Oh out and see if we can't instruct into a switch or something. And then we'll, we'll try to tank with ho -Oh. All right, we got Guzma. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that freaking Diancie. All right, give me, give me that. All right, we, we need some time here to get this, uh, get this worked out. Sure, the bag, the bag could be good. The switch could be good. I think I'm just gonna, oh yeah, let's let's grab the switch. I actually am just gonna knock out this thing. Sure, yeah, I should have done this a long time ago. We're just gonna dump truck press this fella. I'm not gonna mega ton friends. We're just gonna dump truck press, knock him out. So the dance, he's gone. And now we're gonna go and tank with the ho -Oh and just hope that my opponent never says Guzma again, all right? If they say Guzma again, we lose. But if they don't say Guzma again, then we tank with ho -Oh GX and just, uh, and just take care of them, right? Oh, Idiot's RS, are you serious? Oh my gosh, you woke up to a polar bear outside your house. Now, I know you said you live in Canada. Are you serious? I've heard that polar bears are like actually extremely dangerous, right? So I hope that you're okay. That is uh, very concerning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yeah, we're going we're gonna to press the concede button there. That is horrible. And idiots are us. I... Uh, Sorry about your polar bear situation. That sounds terrifying, just absolutely terrifying. I've heard that uh, I've heard that polar bears, you know, will literally like eat humans. Right? It's it's horrible. So, oh, Dankus, I don't think you actually want to pet a polar bear. That sounds like 
a horrible idea and will probably end up with you just being like a polar bear dinner, to be honest. That's really, really scary. Natalie told me some story about a polar bear that if you ever see one, you're probably just dead on sight because it means that the polar bear has been hunting you for miles. That to me is just the, the scariest thing, right? Yeah, absolutely crazy. I think Natalie told me that there's some place where it's it's against the law to lock your car doors because there's polar bears around. So, you know, it's it's generally accepted that people keep their car doors open because if they ever encounter a polar bear and they have to run for safety, they have to be able to like hit the car door, you know, just like kind of waltz in. Gosh, free matchup, let's go. We're playing against Venusaur. Dude, if there was one matchup that is just absolutely glorious, it's this, uh, it's this Venusaur matchup. No, my ho, my ho, -oh. where's my ho, -ho? oh, ho, ho, would have been so good. It's okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna do it with Turknator. That's fine. Turknator actually is completely fine for this. Uh, and then, I don't know, incoming scoop from my opponent. Will they scoop? I should have I should have bagged first. I'm sorry, guys. I should have bagged first. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Let's, uh, let's just get Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, Guzma. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Let's get Guzma. Yeah, that sounds good. Sure. And then we are going to Adventure Bag. I really just am looking for potentially, yeah, skateboards. And then I and then a choice band, I guess, is if my opponent puts the knee pads on. If they put the knee pads on, I actually still one hit KO them. But if they have an aether out, I might not. So we're gonna we're just gonna get both those, yeah. And then let's uh let's just go to town. It's party. Sure. I only have four fires in my deck, but uh, you know where they're all going. They're all going right here. Let's go. Excellent. Excellent matchup. And then I could honestly go in and I mean, I could Shell Trap the Shaman. That doesn't really do enough damage to knock him out, though. It only does 40. But at this point, I'm just going to have so many energy on my Turtonator. And then with Guzma in my hand, I don't think that there's any way that they stop me from just nuking a Venusaur if they put it into play, which is hilarious. Just a free matchup entirely with the two Fire Pokemon in here. My opponent's going to be super salty <laughs> when this thing goes down. So that's good. We needed a dub after the hard loss to the Hitmonchan deck. I can't believe it, guys. I don't think that there's any reason that we should ever lose to a Hitmonchan deck. I can't, like, I don't, I almost don't care what we're playing. The Hitmonchan Pukimuku deck. Tanish. Oh, hello, Tanish. I hope that you had a wonderful Valentine's Day, Tanish. How was it? Did you enjoy your day? I saw you in your morning of Valentine's Day, and now you're probably just getting ready for bed, what, 13 hours later? So hope you're doing well. My opponent's got the whole squad out. I don't think it really matters, though. We're about to just go in and take out a Venusaur. It's going to be very exciting. Guys, brace yourselves for this insane Guzma play. I haven't, I mean, I haven't, ruin someone's day with Bright Flame in quite some time. So this is a very exciting moment for me as well. All right, we're going to... Ah, they scooped. Man, I didn't even get to do it. Yikes. All right, well, better luck next time. 1-1. One, one. We are 1-1. One, one. Oh, Zach. <laughs> you calm down, Zach. <laughs> but also, good morning. Uh, all right, we're 1-1 one one with Turbo Lex. It's pretty good. Took a hard loss to the Hitmonchan deck, though. That... I don't know about that. Feels bad, man. Mahone, could you do a tournament this morning? Manderson asks. I suppose so. I mean, there's nothing stopping me. You guys want to see a tournament? Want to see me try to win some packs? All right. I could see it. Tanish, I'm having a wonderful Valentine's Day. I woke up. I, uh, see, I watched... A little bit of Max Mofo. That was very funny. I was watching him open his uh, full metal wall, uh, his full metal metal wall booster box from Japan, which was exciting. And Natalie got me a nice, uh, a nice card. So that was wonderful as well. And then I said Happy Valentine's Day to my mom. That was cool. Got a coffee. Red Bull has two new flavors. That was exciting, right? So I got the peach and the pear. Red Bull flavors. 
Stopped at Dunkin' Donuts. Got a large cappuccino. Okay. Let's see what we got here. We got Heat Factory. I don't necessarily want to put Heat Factory into play. I do want to probably... Huh. I mean, this is a sweet opening hand. I'm just trying to figure out how to, like, play into it correctly. I think that we might actually have to play the Heat Factory down, as weird as that is, because I don't want to... I just don't want to Ultra Ball away any of these other cards. So I, we kind of are just in that zone right there. And then I really want to... I mean, the Poiple Active is, like, really odd for my opponent. That's kind of ideal for me, that they have a Poiple Active. I think we just Ultra Ball away, like I kind of Ultra Ball away the Ultra Ball on the switch, I guess. That's probably fine. Ultra Ball and switch. Okay, that's cool. I'm into it. And then I kind of want to get ho -Oh out in this matchup. ho -Oh just seems really good. So I think we don't really have any draw cards other than this Heat Factory. I doubt my opponent's going to counter my Heat Factory, so that's probably fine. I could get Oranguru. I don't like getting Oranguru here, though. I like getting Ho-Oh better. So let's do that. And then let's... Uh, I think we attach the DCE to my Snorlax, Kiawe to the Ho-Oh, and then we're going to Guzma next turn. Seems right. Yeah. Okay, that's that's the game plan, fella. Let's get it. Kiawe! Oh, gosh, how fun is it to play Turbo Lax? This deck is honestly nuts. So we're just, like, threatening a turn to 180 Guzma here, which is really aggressive, honestly. Oh, <laughs> Tanish, good question. Where is Andrew's sport coat? All right. I don't have the sport coat on me right now. The The date is for tomorrow, not today. So we will be taking a nice photo and going to a nice Valentine's dinner tomorrow. Oh, unfortunately, my heat factory is gone. My opponent. Yikes. All right. Didn't want you to do that, fella. Really wanted you to keep that heat factory around, but, yeah, it's all good. Honestly, I'm about to just... Kind of nuke two prizes here with the ho -Oh, put the Wishful Baton on. I've got the Fire Energy. I really have everything I need to follow up and take four prizes back to back here. Oh, my opponent also plays Kiawe. No way. No way. <laughs> what are the odds? They back up my turn one Kiawe with a turn one Kiawe. Uh, sorry, fella. This one's going down. For sure. Right. For sure. We got Lily as well. What can possibly go wrong? Nothing. We've got everything we need. Guzma. Goodbye. Blacephalon. Phoenix Burn. All right. Get out of here, dude. 180 damage. We've got EV Snorlax on the bench backing it up. Dude, I think we just kind of are in a great spot here. I think, I mean, if my opponent nukes this Ho-Oh, then we can just smack a Blacephalon. And then we need to figure out two more prizes, though. That's what I'm really kind of uh, worried about. How are we going to find our last two? I could maybe take them with Eevee Snorlax, I guess. But we're going to, Eevee Snorlax just only can do one time 210 damage. Then the rest of the time is stuck at 120 and this deck is just full of Blacephalons. I mean, there is the chance, I suppose, that my opponent... There's no way they whiff this knockout. They've got tons of fire in the discard pile now. Two Naginatels. They can easily just bring those Naginatels, charge them up, right? They hit one B-string, or even just one energy attachment from hand, and this Ho-Oh is a goner. But the thing is, if they don't get too many... <laughs> if they don't get too many fires in play this turn then we will take them off their B-string turn, right, by knocking out a Blacephalon with our Megaton friends. So that's kind of the, the hope and dream here. They're attaching to their benched one and then Cynthia. That is a bold play, sir. 
I don't know why you would ever just attach to the bench one and hope that you hit a fire off the Cynthia. The, I mean, a million things could go wrong if you do that. Like, so many. It's like highly irresponsible. You just always go to the active. There's no reason to ever go to the bench there. Because they have a lot of fire in the discard pile. They had like six, right? So six, seven, eight, nine. That means they only got like six fire left in deck. They could have easily whiffed the fire. So that would be pretty disastrous, honestly. And we're hoping that they whiffed. If they whiffed the fire and they bursting burn, nah, sure enough, they got B-string. Okay. So with them having the B-string, now I gotta, now I gotta figure this out. They got plenty of fire in hand. Okay, that's not good. So they are going to be able to take care of this thing by loss zoning four. I think the dream would be for me to like top deck Guzma, but I can't top deck Guzma. And well, no, I just need to top deck Guzma and then take out the one with like all the fire energy on it. That was really good. But let's see. Yeah. So he's got plenty. Yeah, I'm going to pass all three to my man Snorlack over here. And I guess the goal is for me to not give my opponent an easy way to win this game. But I guess they just need to knock out one Eevee Snorlax and then GX. So it's kind of tough, right? Kind of tough. I almost don't want to put down a Jirachi. I need to make them knock out two Eevees. Or no, they're not going to because they would just GX. So I don't actually lose anything by putting the Jirachis down, which is fine. Because at that point, they could just knock out one Eevee Snorlax and then GX. So I kind of need to do that. And we do play Choice Band. So that's kind of fine. We could go in with the Turtonator here, which could be good. I've got enough energy to Megaton friends. I think I just want to get myself the Oranguru out. Thank you so much, Natalie, for the bits. Appreciate it, girl. Happy Valentine's Day. Natalie's the best, guys. All right, yeah, we're gonna nest ball one more time. And I don't think that there's too many other Pokemon that I really care to have out. And I guess I could get another Eevee Snorlax. I just really want to hit what do I even want to hit? I think I want to hit the uh, adventure bag, probably. Get another Wishful Baton, an energy to attach. Anything, really. It'd be pretty good. I could save it for a Guzma. I need to start getting energy on this Turtonator. That's, that's for sure. So I think I just, I'm going to fail. That's fine. And then just uh, instruct. And the reason I'm failing is just in case I want. OK, we got the bag. That's what I'm talking about. Got the bag. All right, I'm going to need that baton here for sure and a choice band. All right, so now we can win. That's what I'm talking about. Now I can win this game. All right, we got baton. We got band. That's all I need. Now I'm in it. All right, now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, Megaton friends. Boom. All right, we could win this game. Check out that hand. That's what I'm talking about. Two prizes. Now, if my opponent knocks out my Eevee Snorlax, they're playing directly into my trap card. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll be able to win the game. Now, if they Guzma and knock out my Turtonator, then I'm in a bad spot. But I think without having, like, they might not be able to do it, honestly. If they Guzma knock out my Turtonator, oh, they're going to let loose that for sure. But if they Guzma knock out my Turtonator, then they leave the Eevee Snorlax just completely untouched, and they put themselves at two prizes, which is much worse than being at one prize. So I think uh, they may not be able to get it. They do have the Choice Band, which means they only need five fire to Lost Zone. I think they're probably looking for Guzma here off the Let Loose. If they miss the Guzma off the Let Loose, we for sure have this one in the bag. I mean, if they, like, retreat and uh, GX here, that's horrible, I think. I mean, they could Bursting Burn, right? Which I think is fine if they Bursting Burn me because then I just manually attach to my Turtonator and go from there. Do they have Knockout here? If they have Knockout here, I just win. I actually just hope they knock this thing out, right? They just have it. They can 
destroy all their fire, take a knockout. They have Cynthia, but that's not a Guzma. They have one, two, three, four, five, right? 250 plus choice band, 280. The muck doesn't do anything. We just have game. We beat a Blacephalon deck with Turbo Lax. Blacephalon, like the best deck uh, previously before Team Up, like arguably one of the top three decks in standard format. And we're, <laughs> we're taking him to Pound Town with EV Snorlax. No, he's going to burst GX first. What a savage. All right, that's a really heads up play, my man. Heads up play. All right, I think they've got game now. No, I spoke too soon. They were smart. They didn't take the knockout. I don't like that. All right, so let's see. What can we possibly do to avoid this travesty? I think it involves retreating. I've already GX'd. This is horrible. Okay. So we need to get out of this mess. Dump truck press ain't going to do it. They probably have Guzma for game. Oh, I hate it when my opponent makes good plays. Okay. I think we need to... Manually attached to the Turtonator, Nest Ball. I know. I hate it when my opponent makes the right play. All right. I'm going to fail the Nest Ball, I think. And then we're just going to put that there. And let's, uh, let's Lily. That's fine. We just have to Lily. If they have Guzma, they have Guzma, guys. All right. Nothing more I could do. We're going to retreat this fella for sure into Jirachi, one, two, sad, sad day. It's fine. No, I guess we keep the DCE. That seems horrible, yep. All right, cool. Four retreats, and we're gonna need a couple turns, fella. <laughs> it's just gonna let, have to, you have to let me manually attach to this uh, Turtonator, that's for sure. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna see if, uh, yeah, they probably just have Guzma. That's sad, man. They got it. Okay. We almost won this one, but not quite. My opponent was able to stick me there with Eevee Snorlax. We just needed to get that Turtonator powered up. Oh, man. But the Burst GX, too good. Getting around my Wishful Baton strategy. It's fine. We tried. Listen, guys, it's about as good as Eevee Snorlax can get, okay? I think we played this deck as well as we could. I didn't really mess it up at all. It's just that Eevee Snorlax is not really a... <laughs> it's like we're taking our, you know, we're taking our underdog tier four deck into the into the firing line here and just trying to play, play against these tier one decks. It's not really working out. It's fine, though. We lost hard to the Hitmonchan deck. We beat a deck, though. I forget what we beat, but we did beat something. And then we were very close against this deck. I'll say thank you. Uh, thank you. I'm pretty, I'll get them next time. I agree. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you, JW, for the encouragement. Oh, how sad. My opponent's going to do 430 damage for the KO and three prizes. It's all good. Let's roll on something else, though. Feeling it. Got a nice little warm-up sesh with Turbo Lex. The, deck's is, the deck is fine. I think it's fun. It's not real, but certainly was fun and exciting. So... Moving on, uh, let's get ourselves a Flareon. We need a Flareon, a Flareon GX. Then I could play the Charizard deck. That would be a lot of fun. How hard do you think it is to get a Flareon GX out here? I also told you guys I would play a tournament. Okay. Told you guys I would play a tournament. Natalie, I need to update the chat so that the Manka S shows. Oh, it does. I see it now. Oh, that's beautiful. That looks great, Natalie. I'm glad that you uh, you fixed that up for me. So thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Flareon GX might prove harder to get than I imagine, so. I mean, especially with that, you know, I don't know, it wasn't working there. I'm sure there's something else I had to click, but we'll play a tournament. All right, we're going to we're gonna do that. How do, I, how do I actually get to tournament play? Events, there we go. All right, let's see. We've got two people in the standard tournament. All right, what do I play for the tournament, though? Want to see Dewblade in the tournament? Hmm. I think we could probably. Uh, there's only two people here right now. All right, I'll go. I mean, I have enough tickets, but why are all these decks not? Oh, uh, guys, no, I'm not playing a tournament with team up decks not being legal. All right, I'm sorry. That's that's the reason I haven't been doing tournaments yet. All right, 
I'm going to play team up. Team up's not technically legal till tomorrow. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll play a tournament tomorrow morning if it's legal. But right now we can't even play team up decks in the tournament. It's not worth it. Not worth it, man. All right, no tournaments till tomorrow. Sorry guys, team up not legal there. So let's uh, let's drop top though. Tool drop. Getting in here. This deck's a lot of fun to play. I love the engine. I love that we play four Jirachi, all that. Thank you, Utz, for the Twitch Prime sub. Second month in a row. Appreciate it. Third month, you get a brand new badge. So you see some of the people in the chat with their nice Weavile badge. I feel like I've played against this guy before. Even, you know, maybe not. I feel like I've played against this, this crazy yellow haircut before, though. They feel like they're all the same guy. This Guyerson over here with the aviators and the golden Goldilocks ponytail. All right. We've got an incredible starting hand, honestly, guys. This is just about as good as it gets. We've got our deck fixed, so we no longer auto lose to Ultra Necrozma as well, which is very good because... Oh, Bram, I guess that's true. Yeah, tomorrow we could do a viewer tournament. You're right. That is a way to do viewer viewer battles. We could do a viewer tournament. That would be a lot of fun. So yeah, anybody who's here can try to hop in the tournament with me. That that for sure is a possibility. We could even do a thing where maybe a tournament like you know Fridays become like tournament Fridays or something like that. That could be that could be a fun thing. Do you guys think you would like that? Would you like tournament Fridays? That could be fun. I could definitely see it. Right, and then like the viewers can try to hop in the tournament with me. That that just sounds like a, a really good time. So we're playing against some sort of Jirachi Vulcaner Lightning conglomeration over here. Okay, they've got Coco on the bench, Escape board. Can use Stellar Wish. Pretty nice escape board. I'm really really amped to get to use my Secret Rare Full Art escape boards. Right, uh, I have. Like plenty of them, I have my three that I'm playing in my real life decks. Love playing those. Unfortunately, I do not have Seeker Rare skateboards on PTCGO. Sad. This is a Pikaram deck, so this is kind of similar to my Pikaram list. It plays the Jirachi engine. I really am a big fan of that. I'm not sure if our Tool Drop deck is going to be able to do enough damage to knock out Pikaroms in one hit, especially with that. Nasty little metal resistance there, but with them putting tools into play for me, I mean, that certainly helps. I'm into it. All right, so we're uh, definitely putting down the Genesect. We're going to need that if this is ever going to work out here. And ya, yeah. and then Lily for seven. Turn one. Loving it. So we've got a Pokecom. I like that. I've got another Jirachi. We're going to put down the nice one, the nice Jirachi. And then Pokecom, I think we just Stellar Wish first. Cool. See what we get there. Nest Ball, Erica's. I actually don't think I have a draw supporter, so let's go get Erica's. That feels kind of good. I mean, that or it's going to be a, hmm, a Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia kind of feels better with this gigantic hand. Kind of into it. We'll get Cynthia. I'm going to keep the Pokecom for next turn, but we're definitely going to retreat into this guy. And just look for another tool, probably. Stellar Wish. Got the bag. All right. Now, ideally, I guess I kind of want, hmm, kind of full greed. But I could Pokecom the Jirachi for a Ditto Prism Star. I think I actually kind of like that. Probably, ooh. Or I could just, like, destroy that Tapu Koko this next turn with Guzma and stuff. I'm kind of into that, too. All right. We'll, uh, we'll get the bag. And we're going to go for board goggles. Cool. I'll put the goggles down on my Genesect. You just never know when you're going to get let loosed. I feel like I get let loosed all the time. It's just a crucial bummer, right? That's fine, yeah. And then I'll put the choice band down on my Han Edge. Sure. I'm just going to play some things down because I just don't want to get loosed out of all these tools, right? Like getting loosed out of your tools. Major feel bad. All right. That's it. That's all. Your turn, my guy. And at this point, we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and then 18 with that choice band. 
we got enough to knock out this Tapu Coco Prism Star. I think knocking out the Tapu Coco Prism Star feels pretty good. If I can, oh no, pretty sure we don't play any copies of stadiums in this deck. There's just nothing really worth playing in that slot. We could play probably the best stadium for us to play would be the the sky pillar thing, which I, I hate that stadium. I don't think it's very good, but you know, that honestly, if we were gonna play a stadium, it would probably be sky pillar, okay? Just because there's no other good choices for us. <clears throat> No other good choices for us. Greeny, that's a good question. Why didn't I put that escape board on the active? Because I'm fully expecting this guy to get knocked out this turn, okay? I'm not putting any eggs in that basket. My opponent could easily just go get Zapdos and KO him, okay? Which is probably what they're about to do. So, I'm not going to put the escape board there because of this reason exactly. I trust the lightning deck enough to be able to knock out my Jirachi. So, I wanted to save the escape board, right? There we go. So we've got ourselves, yeah, Jirachi, we're gonna promote that. Suit. So we've got Double Colorless. We've got Pokecom. We got some things. What kind of dream can we make happen here? All right, what do we, he resists metal too? Yes, he does. Ugh. We can knock out the Zapdos, that's for sure. Let's let's just get it popping here. We're gonna start using Stellar Wish and just see, see what we got going on. Nest Ball, I'm into it. Gets me probably the Ditto Prism Star would be an excellent option for us. So that we can, you know, get the Zeb Strike guy into play eventually, which is in the deck. That's really good. So we'll grab the Ditto Prism Star. Then I could like switch Guzma. I don't actually have a ton of stuff. I mean, we, we have Knockout on the active Zapdos at least. We're doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Right, yeah, we got Knockout on the Zapdos. We might just need to take Knockout on the Zapdos. I'm kind of cool with that, honestly. We're not doing anything crazy yet, but sometimes you just gotta trade and take the Knockout that you're given. It's cool, it's not a Guzma turn. Not feeling it, we need to set up a little bit more. So we'll get that fella there, we'll attach Double Colorless here, and then Rescue Stretcher? No, I'm gonna save the Stretcher for Latre. Yeah, the Shrine would be really bad for my own Genesect. So I don't know if that's necessarily something that I'm looking to do. Like having that Hone Edge there, that's good. And then I've got a bunch of tools here that we can use. I think I kind of like the goggles here on the Ditto. That's going to be fine. And then let's just retreat. And I'm going to take this knockout with my Toolless Dewblade. We're going to save our Choice Painted one, all right? Drop top. And we're doing more than enough damage. We're doing like, uh, what, 150 means we're doing 180 naturally. I might actually need to get a second Genesect out. I never really say that. Never actually get myself into a situation where I need two Genesects, but it might just be a two Genesect kind of match here. That, fu that resistance is just so nasty with the Aether. Those guys are just sticking forever. So that's like, I'm just doing minus 50 to this Pika Zekrom. I have to do like 300 damage. But dude, why are you wearing a choice band? Why did you do that to yourself? You're just, you're just undoing the, <laughs> you're undoing, <laughs> doing it. Uh, that's fine with me to be honest. So my opponent putting all these tools into play, they're probably need an escape board. Uh, they keep ripping switches here. So that'll, that'll work for sure. But. I guess with them kind of bumping my damage up, they will eventually use the Tapu Koko Prism Star. They might even decide to use it right now, now that they have two lightnings in the discard pile. And if they do bump the Tapu Koko Prism Star, then they're only giving me um, plus 30 with their own choice ban. So there that goes, that's fine. I agree with that play, get that out of there. Then they'll be able to use their Pikaram and see if, yeah. See if they have. They already have the switch in the hand. I know that. They'll full blitz. They'll probably full blitz and attach to this thing. Who also resists metal? Crucial bummer. That's uh. It's fine. This hand is pretty good to be honest. So I'm not 
terribly concerned. Got a counter energy, got metal goggles, another dew blade. We got Jirachi with a skateboard on it. We've got our copy of Ditto Prism Star, so we can pivot into a, uh, we can get a Zeb Strika as well. If there was a turn where we were trying to make the dream work and do 300 damage, this is, this is the turn. And they're going all in, guys. They don't think I can do it. They don't think I have it like that. Bold play. We're going to see how this one works out for them. I think, I think I can make this happen. All right, I think I can make this happen. But what do I need? Okay, so we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 210, 240. If I get a full bench, I'm doing 240. A full bench full of tools, including the Genesect, I'm doing 240, which is not enough to knock him out because he's got the Aether in play. So that means I need another Genesect, okay? I just need the Genesect in play in order to make it work. So that's fine. We'll go metal goggles here. Here. All right, I need Genesect and two tools. It's possible, all right? It's possible. Here. I think it feels really bad to shuffle these back in. I think I Lily for five, right? That or I Lily for six and shuffle these three back in. I feel like I Lily for five. That feels better. So, all right. Let's do that. We'll Lily for five first. Ultra Ball is really good here. Okay. I'm a little bit short on what we need, though. So, I could get Zeb Strika. Um, I do 240. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that's not enough because he's got the Aether. The Aether, I need to do 270. Okay. So we need to get, I could probably Stellar Wish first. If I just get another tool off of the Stellar Wish, then I'm in. So I think I need to Ultra Ball for Genesect first. Yeah. So I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Guzma and the Stretcher. Get our Genesect. And then we need to find a tool. All right, I don't have a ton left, but I got some. We can make it work. All right, and we have one chance, Jirachi. Let it rip. Busted. Punish Island, one-way ticket. Serve them up. Here we go, guys. Genesect. I've never done this with this deck, but we have got a whole lot of tools in play, fellas. All right, retreat and boom. Tool draft for 270. Go get them. Go get him, Slugger. Three prizes. I'll take them. Thank you. Punished. Just absolutely annihilated there. <laughs> and he scooped. He scooped. Ah, salty. Just <laughs> salted. <laughs> Puts all six energy onto the Picaram. Punished. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. Gosh, love that. Love it. Just uh, con concede. Concede. <laughs> Oh, I hate getting tool dropped. I hate it when I put all six energy on my Zekrom and it gets knocked out by a Dewblade. <laughs> I hate when that happens. <laughs> oh, we got him, guys. All right, thank you for believing in me, chat. That was wonderful. That just made my morning right there. Hello, Blaze Lights. Hello. Yeah, that was a... Dude, he was just a pillar of salt. Couldn't even handle himself. He didn't know what to do with himself. He was just so, like horizontal that he had to scoop. He's just absolutely sideways. All right, what do we plan? What is this? Why? <laughs> Why? Why am I playing against an executor deck? I just had such a good time rocking that Picaram deck with my Dewblade. And sure enough, now I'm playing against an Alolan Egg deck? Have mercy. All right. This is fine. I think, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. We'll be fine. Oh, thank you, Natalie, for those more free bits. I appreciate it. We're going to go in here, probably Acrobike first. Yeah, see what we get. Malamar, that feels pretty good. I'll, I'll take the Malamar. I like it. I guess I could have taken the Viridian Forest since I, yeah, have a rescue stretcher, but 
it's all it's all good. We could go in and eh, my opponent will give me something turn two. They're totally I probably yeah okay now that I'm looking at it like we definitely keep the Viridian there. All right okay all right fine. We'll ultra ball. Boom. And we'll get the Jirache and switch. Get him. Go get him, Slugger. It's your time to shine here, Jirachi. Stellar wish. And we'll grab an acro bike. Alrighty then. Uh, that's fine. You're right. He probably. Oh, he would let. You're right. All right. I was actually a pro play not grabbing the Viridian. I'm thinking that the Necrozma is probably better for me here. Being able to do quick 120. That's fine. You're right. We can't actually play the. I'm not. Ver, I'm not going to Erica's for two. All right. Just I ain't doing it. All right. We're going to pass. You're right, though. Upon further consideration, ditching the Viridian was the correct play because my opponent will like be really excited to just discard energy from their hand in order to put more rainbow energy. What is this? Deck plays rainbow energy since when? Devoured field and a lily for seven. Just my opponent is stunting on me here and they are playing the dragon version of a Lolan Exeggutor. So who knows what kind of madness they could be cooking up. They could even be playing the Altaria from Dragon Majesty. Never know, right? Never know. Natalie, this is, uh, I thought this was your list. I thought this was your Ultra Necrozma list. I don't know where this Ultra Necrozma list came from, but uh, I certainly didn't craft it. So I thought that this was yours, Natalie. I'm pretty sure that, you know, I mean, they could play the, uh, yeah, I guess that it doesn't really make it any better because the grass version had Promo Lorantis, the dragon version has Altaria, so they both have a way to boost their duders up to up 20 damage. All right, fella, you didn't really give me what I'm looking for here, okay? Oh, that's fine. Okay. I think we're just gonna stellar wish first. See what we're see what we're rocking with. All right, we got a Cynthia. That's pretty good. Probably just gonna Cynthia for six new cards here. Liking that better than what I'm looking at. I can, I guess, go invasion in and knock out the. I think I'm gonna try and just run them off the board. All right, guys. It's like it doesn't feel great, but it feels fine probably. So we'll uh, get rid of the Ericas, and then we're gonna get ourselves another. Malamar. Now I just need to find an energy here. And then we're going to invasion and just like knock this dude out. I know that that's like kind of greedy, but I feel like if I let my opponent do too much here, we actually have the knockout. Okay. We have the knockout with the Giratina instead. So I'll just do that. We drew into the technology to get Giratina out. So let's, uh, how do we do this? Mysterious Treasure, then Ultra Ball. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's uh, Mysterious Treasure away for our Giratina. Then we're going to Ultra Ball away the Giratina. Pro plays. Pro plays. Watch out. Watch out, guys. All right. Then we're going to, we could goose him, right? Sure, let's get goosed, guys. I'm feeling, I'm feeling goose town. Goose central over here. Let's go. Distortion door. Coming out the cut, Giratina. There he is. 10 damage on both your fellas. Double psychic charge. Then we're going to switch. Attach to the Giratina. And let him, let him have it with the goose action. All right, after a turn one Lily for big. Can't just have it like that. All right. Let's go. Goose town. Four cards each. Dig in this hand. This hand's way better than that zero card hand. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's give him the shadow impact. Fantastic. Do a 40 damage to my Mars Shadow. I don't need that fella. It's fine. I don't want to give him like a free knockout on my Giratina, that's for sure. And then I think what? The Executor does it have 160 hit points? It has like an absurd amount of hit points. So unfortunately, I'm a little bit short on knocking out the Executor once it evolves. 
Andrew, someone is give. Oh, what? Does someone offer me a trade of skateboards? Or what is a? Uh, Tanisha, someone is giving three Secret Rare skateboards and four Jirachis for a Shifty promo from XY. Oh, unfortunately, I don't think I have the Shiftry promo, though. I would easily accept that trade. That's, that trade sounds nuts. Well, if someone's got the Shiftry promo and wants to go redeem that trade and then trade them to me for something else, I'll give you something nice. I don't have a whole lot to offer, but I would love some Secret Rare skateboards. That'd be nuts. All right, so they're doing 80 damage here. They've also got... Garbodor, that's why they play. Okay, that's why they play that. Okay, so the only way I'm knocking out this executor here is if I find a Guzma, right? Um, I guess I can hard retreat. I actually don't mind that. We'll acro bike first to see what we get. Okay, it's fine. I think I can hard retreat here into the Jirachi and then look for a Guzma off the Jirachi, and if I don't find it, I'll just switch. It's probably what we're looking at. Guzma would be very good, so let's uh, let's do that. Swag. Then we'll uh, give it the old Stellar Wish. Sure, we got Viridian Forest, Acro Bike, cool. Grab the Acro Bike, see if we can't find the card we really want off of Acro Bike. And we do not. That's fine. I can grab the Mysterious Treasure. I doubt that my opponent is going to be... Huh. We're just short here. We want the Beast Energy either on Dawn Wings. We just have a ton of items in the discard pile. I actually am fine. I'll just end up doing this. And then what we're going to do here is switch into the active. We'll... Uh, just go ahead and thin our deck a little bit with that Mysterious Treasure. Can get the Marshadow out of here. I know I ain't playing that Marshadow. Who am I kidding? Okay, so we'll get that fella gone. Nothing I need in the deck. We got two Guzmas left. The Beast Energy is in there. Cool beans. And then we'll Cynthia. No! Oh, I forgot to switch. Oh, don't punish me. Ah, nuts. Okay. I forgot to switch, guys. It's cool. Eh, we're going to be fine. So, and I forgot to switch. We had that all planned out. Oh, God. Why? Why? I was doing so good. I'm going to eat my hat. I just got too excited. Got way too excited. All right, this is fine. We're turned behind now, but you know what? I'm still feeling like we're definitely going to win this one. We are never getting punished for that one. We're going to be totally fine, guys. Totally fine. Keep calm. Deep breaths. Okay, deep breaths. One turn in the grants. It's just one turn, right? Just one turn. We're going to be okay. All right, and then we'll attach to our Dawn Wings. It's like I just I knew it as soon as I did it. I was like, oh, my God. Um, it's cool, though. Shadow Impact. So what we're looking for here, oh, that's, that's fine, yeah. What we're looking for here is a Guzma. We need the Guzma really bad because... The Guzma will allow us to use Distortion Door and snipe this Executor and then kind of get back in the game, which is what we want to do. Also, once the, you know, once the damage kind of gets down, or like once the prizes kind of get down a little bit, I can absolutely just punish my opponent with a Sky Scorching Light. Like, we could easily win the game that way. So, that, uh, that'd be pretty good as well. I could deal the 40 damage to the Giratina, probably was the play, but it's fine. You know, we are uh, we did 40 to the Malamar, that's where we're at. But I know eventually I will kind of run out of places to put it, and then, you know, putting it on the Giratina, very good. Ooh, that's no bueno. But my opponent has given me just this guy on the bench. That's exactly where I want him. Actually, I don't think my opponent could have given me a better play. I think this is just exactly what I wanted to happen. So I don't mind that at all, actually. We're just going to retreat. <laughs> they might have just handed it to me. So I think I just am going to retreat and hit this guy. I'm not going to Guzma because I'm going to save my Guzma for when my opponent actually knocks out my Giratina. We'll Psychic Recharge. 
a couple of times. Yeah, they're just kind of handing this one over to me, so that's cool. We'll take it. And then we will this time shadow impact and deal 40 damage to the Giratina. All right. Very good. So now that guy is softened up. It's cool. We got Guzma. We can snipe this dude. We're going to take bonus prizes. It's going to be a great time. And then as soon as my opponent knocks out my Dawn Wings, I'm just going to Sky Scorching Light, and it's not even going to be close. That's the crazy thing about this Ultra Necrozma deck. I fully expect Ultra Necrozma to be like a top eight deck at Oceana. For sure, 100%. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This will be a top eight deck. I'm calling it right now. Ultra Necrozma is really, really good. It's got great matchups against Lost March. It's got a great time against Picaram, Tag Team GX, Pokemon, all that. Venusaur, no problemo, right? Everything that's being hyped, Ultra Necrozma can just handle with flying colors. So let's see what we got going on here. All right, this time we definitely knock out that Garbodor. Yeah, we're going to promote Marshadow. We just pop out that Tina. Guzma the Garb. Easy peasy. Okay, so I think, yeah, seems about right. Anything else I was thinking about doing here? Nah. Nah, brother. Let's get it. Distortion Doer. All right. And we'll do one, Uno, and uh, Dose. Get out of here. Sick rips. We've got an Ink. That executor is gone. We'll triple charge to my benched Giratina, and then we're going to Guzma up the Garbodor and go to three prizes. And then if my opponent ever punishes me by knocking out my Dawn Wings. We just Sky Scorching Light and hope that they never disrupt this hand, this beautiful hand. It's got everything that I need to win in it, right? That would be sick. Ah, uh, it's Guzma time. Goodbye, sir. I don't like your attitude there, Garbodor. Not what I'm feeling here. Shadow Impact. And I'll deal 40 damage for myself. That's fine. I guess knocking out the Executor could have been good, too. Like, I know that we're knocking out... I, I want to keep the Shuckle. I want to keep the Ditto. Right, there's a bunch of Pokemon that I want to keep on the bench as, like, low hit point Pokemon so that I can Sky Scorching Light. My hope is that they don't evolve this egg here. And then... <laughs> David, you see my Spanish is on point. Ah, gracias. I really love... Oh, I love Spanish as a language. I love... I just, like, really... I don't know a lot about Mexican culture, right, or Spanish culture. I don't know a lot. But, like, of what I do know, I wish I knew more, if that makes any sense. If I could be, if I could, like, go and be any other, uh, I guess, like, live anywhere else, I would love to just, like, know more about Spanish culture, I guess, if that makes any sense. If I could, like, live there for a couple of years, really immerse myself in the culture, learn the language, I would easily want to learn more about Spanish culture, Okay or Mexican culture. That would be my dream, right? Unfortunately, I don't know all that much. Okay, but I do know, did I say, is that not? I know, I'm, I'm talking about both, right? Spanish with the, with the running of the bulls and then also Mexican, I like them both, right? I know they're different, I understand they're different, okay? But uh, I, I like them both, right? Okay, and I don't know a lot, like I said, I don't know a lot but I would like to learn more. So that's me showing enthusiasm. I know they're different, but I would like to, I would like to know more. I also, uh, I have a few friends from Chile. So I know a little bit from what they've told me about what it's like to live in Chile, right? I also love Mexican food. Yes, I do. Donde esta the Zapo, I don't know what a Zapatoria is, but all right, let's, uh, let's promote this care team and see if we can win the game. Um, hmm. We've got Egg, got Jirachi. Um, let's see. Do I have it? Yeah, I have it. What am I doing? All right, yeah. All right, time to win the game, guys. Oh, let's make it happen. Beautiful, beautiful. Psychic Charge, we got it. Uno, 
dos tres. We don't even need it. We just really need just the uno would have done it. And then we're going to get to switch and take care of it. All right, Sky Scorching Light, let's do it, right? I didn't miss this. Sky Scorching Light GX. Boom goes the dynamite, and we win the game easily, taking like four prizes, busted deck. So Ultra Necrozma really getting in there. And uh, yeah, as you can see, trades with non-GX decks, just absolutely no problem. Yeah, I know Pablo is from Mexico, right? So I, uh, I know he lives there, and that's awesome. I know Pedro is from Spain. Um, I know, uh, also I'm good friends with, um, well, I'm good friends with a bunch of guys from Chile as well. So Nicholas, right? Nicholas from Chile is actually staying with me for St. Louis. So I would really, I think if I, if I had any chance or opportunity to go kind of spend a week in a Spanish-speaking country, it would probably be Chile because I know the most Chileans, if that makes any sense. Uh, Nicholas would probably uh, be able to put me up somewhere. That would be awesome. But uh, that would be my hope if you're watching, Nicholas. Maybe one day, all right? What's up, Blue Bronco? Welcome. All right, we got... Ugh, what do we got here? Oh, plenty of time. Turbolax. You guys want to see Turbolax again? Tanish wants to see Jolt Dog. Sure. We could, uh, sure, Tanish, just for you, my man, all right? Just for you. We'll, uh, we'll run Jolt Dog, all right? I haven't run Jolt Dog in a little while. We'll, we'll run Jolt Dog. It's fine. Oh, yikes, Tama Jarmer. Really going out there. <laughs> calling, calling some people out. All right, this one's for Tanish. Happy Valentine's Day, Tanish. Playing Jolt Dog. We're playing against Harbinger. Who is Harbinger? I don't know. Been a while since I've played Jolteon on stream. This deck's busted. Really enjoy Jolteon as a Pokemon. I think it's Insano. Captain Insano. If there's any way to play Zap Dog, I think that you probably play Zap Dog with the with the Jolt Dog. It's just my favorite way to do it. Yeah. Anything for you, Tanish. <clears throat> All right, let's get it. What are we playing against? Something, something that's not nearly as good as my deck. Let's go. We got Eevee. We've got Jirachis. Boom. We've got Turn One Energy Attachments. Tapu Coco. We got it all. And then Lily for six. Busted. This is a very good start here. I've got Guzma and a skateboard. It's really everything I need. Unfortunately, I've got the Jolteon in my hand, but it doesn't actually matter. I should have probably thrown the escape boards down. I just never know where I'm going to want them. I don't know if my opponent, like, Guzma's up something or something like that. I probably should have just, like, slapped the one on the Jirachi, though. I don't think there's any way I get punished for that. But it's all good. <laughs> Wait. Oh, Natalie, do we need any cards? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't think so, off of the top of my head. It's a good question, though. Do we need any cards? So yeah, I think uh, after hearing you guys' positive response there to, oh, they got the Lycia. After hearing you guys' positive response to my suggested Fridays, tournament Fridays, I think that might be a thing. We're gonna try it out for a couple weeks and see if that ends up sticking. The Tournament Fridays, where we just uh, play some tournaments on Friday morning, and anybody who wants to roll Friday morning, we can get it done. And that would be a lot of fun. We're playing against another Jirachi-focused Pikaram deck. I think that this is a fine matchup for us. A lot of people don't think so, because they're like, how can you beat a Pokemon with 240 hit points? That's what a lot of people in my YouTube comments say. It's fine. I think we can get there, all right? Because I have faith in my Thunderbirds, that's why. All right, we're going to attach to this Jirachi here. We're also gonna Guzma up one of these fellas. Yeah, that or I just a Skateboard Retreat and knock out the Jirachi. I think I'm gonna Guzma up one of these fellas though. That just feels better. Because then uh, we kind of soften him up, all right? He's a big, big dude. We don't want to actually... Oh, thank you, Idiots Are Us, for the bits. Sorry there. All right, watch out for polar bears, idiots are us. 
Hope you have a great day. Please, please stay stay away from polar bears. Try to stay safe, all right? All right, we're going to grab Ultra Ball so that we can thin our hand down potentially before the next uh, Lily. Looks like we may end up Lilying here. The following turn, I also kind of want to Nest Ball and just get myself another Jirachi in play just in case. We've got a Lightning Energy, and then we just go in here and just kind of smack them around with the old Thunderous Assault. There we go. Boom, 80 damage. So, we're off to a pretty good start. I mean, if my opponent decides to full blitz here, we may be able to do something about that. Between the Tapu Koko Prism Star, that Ultra Ball in my hand, we could go get our Tapu Koko GX, potentially, and, and take a knockout. But I probably don't want to do that quite yet. I could go in with my Jolteon as well, and we could Swift Run, potentially. My opponent's got 160 hit points left. So with 160 hit points left, that means that I would need to head bolt here with a choice band and an electro power, or two electro powers. I need to find just two buffs to that attack. That's not bad in order to take a knockout. And if I swift run this Pika Ram for three prizes, that's pretty busted, to be honest. I think there's probably no way my opponent easily responds to that. They got Adventure Bag, so what are they going to go get? They already did an Electro Power as well. That makes me think that they're probably trying to knock out my Zapdos with a Zapdos. And if they do that, then I definitely, like, I definitely see that, right? I think that's pretty good because then they're just, uh, that's like the hardest thing for the Zapdos deck to deal with is other Zapdoses, like, for sure. Knocking out other Zapdoses that are lightning weak, but your Thunderous Assault doesn't hit them for weakness is a big old pain. They got a skateboard, they got Choice Band, they got Energy Switch. Okay, I love that they had to do this. This to me is like my optimal turn for them. They had to, they had to full blitz my Zapdos with a damaged Pika Ram. That is perfect. Perfect! As I would say, and they're gonna load up that Bench Aurora. That Bench Aurora can easily just hit 190, so that's a little bit sketch. I think if I, I really want to save my GX attack for later in the game, Guzma is very good here. It's definitely good. So let's see what we get off of Stellar Wish first. We got an escape rope, kind of into that. I think escape rope could be very good. Definitely feeling it. The choice band's also really good. I could that actually gets me like halfway to a knockout on this Picaram with the Jolteon. A Volkner this was what I would need to kind of finish it off. Could Guzma up the Jirachi, take that knockout. Don't really want to do that. I could Guzma up the Zorora and maybe knock it out with how many lightning? I just have one lightning in the discard pile. Hmm. I think I like the escape rope the best. And then I kind of see who they, like, who are you going to promote off of this? If you promote Zorora, I can just go, yeah, I'll kind of see who you promote. I kind of like that. Okay. Let's see, who are you going to give me? We'll see that. If they give me the Jirachi, I think it's an easy, all right, it's like an easy Zapdos turn. I just know. I go in with Zapdos. That helps me get my second lightning energy into the discard pile as well, which I'm cool with. Gives me another turn to Stellar Wish here, too. Got Guzma, we got Volkner. Kind of into, honestly, Volkner seems good, just to be able to get the cards that I need to kind of finish this guy off. All right. And then I could get Volkner. I could attach a Lightning to my EV and get a Electro Charge or a Choice Band, something like that. Kind of into it. And then next turn, okay, I'm cool with that. Sure, we just like get the lightning energies that we want. Choice band, lightning energy, into it. Attach the lightning energy to my EV. Nah, bro, I already know where he's at. And then we're just going to retreat. Take that knockout with Zapdos. It's cool. I kind of have to take a knockout on the Jirachi at some point in order to win this game. 
if that makes any sense, because I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to three pri or like gonna take three prizes on this thing, and then I'm gonna take two prizes on this thing. So taking out the Jirachi there is really good for me. He's just gonna have a very straightforward turn. He's not gonna pull off any crazy Tag Bolt GX two prizes, I don't think. He is gonna try and disrupt me with that Absol, which is like kind of annoying. But we should have all the cards we need to really uh, to really kind of punish him here. So he'll if he loads more energy into play, I'm fine with it. Really, all I need to do to win this game is Coco GX the Pikachu Zekrom, and then Swift Run, or then like Headbolt this thing, right? That's it. So this is going to be very easy, actually, from here on out. It's like no problems whatsoever. The route is actually just kind of laid for me. Easy win. All right, let's go, Jirachi. Game time. Game time. All right. We have got, first of all, I think I just want both GXs in play because both GXs are going to help me to kind of win this, win this game here. We need to take out that peek around, that's for sure. Or I could just leave the Jolteon in deck. Hmm. Either way, it's probably fine. Let's, uh, let's Ultra Ball, or I guess we'll Dance the Ancients first. Doesn't actually matter. Sure, we'll do that. Uno Dos. Boom. So we got that. Then we Ultra Ball away the EV and the Lightning Energy. Probably feels most fine. Going to get Coco. Now is your time, Coco. All right. Well, Stellar Wish. It's pretty good. Thunder Mountain Prism Star is pretty good. Skateboard's pretty good. I think uh, I don't want to give my opponent the Thunder Mountain. Volkner is pretty good as well. But I kind of want to, you know, I mean, I want a Lily for some more cards this turn, but that's, that's fine. Okay, we'll get that. Going to attach Choice Band, I guess, yeah, to my Eevee. It's fine. Going to, yeah, let's just... Uh, Arrow Trail, we're going to take Uno, Dos, Trace. Go get him, Slugger. All right. Then I'll attach to my Eevee again. Nah, already know. I think we have the same outs. I need two damage modifiers to knock out Zorora here. I need more to knock out with Art. So, like, I actually don't care. Yeah, we'll evolve. And then we're just going to Lily for four new cards. We got Shrine. I actually think that the Shrine is probably fine for me to play, to be honest. And then, I mean, I don't know if it, yeah, it probably is fine. Sure, we'll just play it. I don't think it makes a difference. And then, sure, Tapu Thunder GX. Boom, get him. Go get him, Slugger. Got it, 400 damage, three prizes. Let's go. Now I just need a couple damage modifiers to finish this game off, and we got double electro power off the prizes. That'll do it. So if my opponent doesn't have any way to do this, then we're good to go. I guess I didn't need to, let's see, to GX, I guess I could have just attached the choice band and not GX. Hmm, I could have probably swift run him. That might have just like ended the game right there. But. Yeah, I guess I could have gotten it without the GX. Live and learn. That's fine. I didn't math that one out. I think we're still cool, though. It doesn't really make a difference because either way, my Tapu Coco is going down. I guess I could have, like, done something where I Volkner. Yeah, I should have not GX because I should have just Sky High Claws. And if I Sky High Claws, then I can Volkner for Rescue Stretcher and then Thunder Mountain and GX him for game. So I should have done, I should have done that route. This deck is like really tough to play, to be honest. There's like a lot of different things you have to do to kind of map out your your winning strategy, right? And we just got game, that's it. It was that easy, right? So that wasn't the ideal play. The ideal play is that I, you're, you guys are totally right, that I sky high claws there, and then I can rescue stretcher, and here's the rescue stretcher. I could have rescue stretchered in Tapu Thunder GX for game. 
Instead, we've just got it here. Double electro power. And GG's, man. That's it. Head bolt for game. That's it. There you go, Tanish. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Zapdos. Jolt Dog. Getting in there. You guys see how this deck just gets in the paint, though? Like, goodness. It's crazy. It's just a crazy deck. Blacephalon. Let's go. We'll play Blacephalon. Cake Pops. Drop Tap. Ooh. Feeling good on a Thursday. That's right, chat. Send your Zapdos is in celebration. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jagger Pit, for reminding me of my busted Zapdos emote. For all the Twitch subs out there. Thank you. Appreciate it. I think Blacephalon is still really, really, really good. Very strong deck. Hopefully we're not playing a mirror match here. I think that would be a bummer. But if it is a mirror match, I accept your challenge. Clear Sky Whisper. Okay. Busted starting hand. Double Marshadow. We're cool with that. I mean, it's, this hand's really fine. We get a, get a top deck two off the mulligan. Sure enough, this is a mirror scenario. So going first is a really big deal. Yeah, yeah. And sure enough, it's a Blacephalon, the guy we wish we had started. So this is fine. I think I'm going to go in and just Sophocles first. Feels optimal, to be honest. So let's just Sophocles away these and then draw four cards. All right, we got nothing because this deck's awesome. Then we'll Ultra Ball away probably. I actually kind of like Ultra Balling away to fire. I mean, that's like very aggressive, sure, but it's fine. We'll get ourselves a Poip Bull, attach fire to my mans. And then we could go for the turn one let loose. I don't know. That's a little greedy. I think we just kind of let this hand sit and see what happens. Turn one let loose with, ugh, yeah. I, I'm not trying to really turn one let loose. I did burn a lot of cards, but I already have my let looser in the active position, so I'm not really trying to make that play right now. I'm going to save it for later in the game if I need to kind of dig a little bit more or if I need to try and limit my opponent before a game-winning play. Feels very greedy to go for it now. But, I mean, you never know. You could just let loose your opponent turn one and then they just lose. <laughs> and then I could let loose myself turn one and then I could just lose. But I, I kind of want it to be a little bit more of a potentially thought-provoking game than that. So... We'll, we will not do the turn one loose here. Opponent's going to eye opener, taking a little look at their prize cards. Cheater. We'll uh, kind of, hmm, actually, we could Guzma. Okay. I guess we could Guzma up there. Hmm. Ditto. Knock it out. We could Guzma up there, ditto, and I guess I could Guzma let loose. It's kind of greedy. Yeah, but I kind of like it too. So, I don't know. I'm kind of into it. I'm feeling it. All right, now I'm going for the high greed play. All right, now is my time. Then we'll Ultra Ball away these cards. Sure, who needs them? And we'll go get ourselves another Poiple. Eventually, somebody will draw into a. I don't know. Eventually someone will draw into an Ultra Space and then we'll be fine. God, busted deck, honestly. What more could I have possibly needed? We'll just attach to... Yeah, they're not knocking me out turn two, so I think we're totally fine just using Bursting or Burst GX here. Probably okay. Yeah, it's fine. Boom. And it's a Blacephalon. That's fine. Saving that empty bench spot there for my Lele so that I can get a supporter to get me out of this hand. I guess the idea with bringing up the Ditto is that I, I try to prevent them from using their own Burst GX this turn. If they miss another turn of attacking, like they didn't attack turn one, but if they miss it this turn, then they probably lose the game. Right. But with 
that hand there off the let loose, they're going to be totally fine. They're probably not attacking. Like, they're not going to be able to knock out my Blacephalon. I don't think I'm in any danger of that. So I should be good just to kind of mind blown this turn and knock out their Blacephalon. And then the race is kind of on, right? Which is crazy. I don't love my bench. I don't love that I started Marshadow, okay? I think starting Nar... St starting Nar Shadow. Starting Marshadow is a little bit of a bummer. But, yeah, we're going to have both Marshadows and the Lele there on the bench. Not what we want, but we'll take it because it's what we got. Oh, and they're going to Bursting Burn Savagery. They ain't even going for their GX attack. All right, my man. I see your plays. I mean, we just 100% are all in here. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to go for it. Yeah, I'm getting a supporter card. Yeah, it's going to be a Cynthia. That or I Guzma. Hmm. Can't really Guzma and knock anything out, so no, we're not going to Guzma. We're going to get a supporter. It's going to be Cynthia. That or I Sophocles away these two things. Nah, it seems bad. Cynthia. So that's it. We're going to try and just high roll this one, and then if we high roll it, we probably win. And if we low roll it, we might just lose. It's all good. It's how it be sometimes. We will probably, I don't want to give my opponent the ultra space. That kind of feels bad, but I also don't want to ultra ball these cards away because that also feels bad. So, hmm. Yeah. Both of those kind of feel bad. Ultra ball away. I guess I can ultra ball away ultra space and Sophocles. But then I'm kind of hoping that I get my own. Right, I need to, I just, yeah, that's fine. All right, we need to, we need to do it. Ultra balling away any of those cards just feels horrible. Kind of need them, need them all. And I need to start charging up because there's no way that I win this game if I don't, like, actually do this. So, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get everything we need here. And then, all right, you guys ready? It's the flip of a century. Here we go. <sighs> Last time I flipped for confusion. <sighs> we did it. All right, guys. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, now we lose. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why? Why did it have to happen like that? Oh, so sad. Let's go. We tried our best, guys. We gave it our best flip. Plus, it, press F in the chat, please. There's nothing more we could have done. No way we could have prepared our board any better. It's just uh, a sad day for our cake pop, for sure. We really tried hard. Now, hopefully they just miss a fire energy off this Cynthia. That could help, I guess. But there's no way they miss a fire. Their deck is literally made of flames. Oh, they did! So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> You're saying I could do it. I could still do it. All right, hold on, chat. Hold on. Cross your fingers. Send me. All right. Send me your. Send me your best luck. We need you now, chat. It's got to be a Sophocles. I feel like, I don't know, Sophocles. That or I ultra ball a couple things away and Lily. I'll do that. All right, we'll do that. That seems better. All right, we're going to do that. Sure, fine. Yeah, okay. Nada. Attach for turn. Lily for six. Alrighty then. This is the hand we were dealt. Might not be the hand we love, but it's fine. It's got everything I need, really. Now we just need to hit a heads. All right, chat, hold on tight. About to go for another ride here. Let's get it. See if we can make it happen. All right. <clears throat> Y'all right for this? Three, two, one. Let's get it. Boom! Out of here. Get out of here. Go. Four energy. All right. Second time. Easy mode. Got him. Two prizes. So now we can win. All right, busted chat. We have redeemed ourselves. Please send your busted emotes. It's time. Busted. 
We got him. Thank goodness, too. This game was heading south real quick. Now, I will say, uh, yeah, it might be tough for me to kind of map out my final uh, couple knockouts here. I have a gigantic hand, but no beast rings in sight. <laughs> so <laughs> I did get rid of one beast ring turn one. I was like, that's probably fine to get rid of just the one beast ring. I probably won't get punished for that. But sure enough, ah, we have not seen another. So could be... <clears throat> Could be a little bit of a struggle bus situation, trying to get another mind blown. Going here, we do have our three prize turning point. I need to remember that and ingrain it into my brain piece because it's not exactly something that I'm great at remembering when it's my three prize turn. Now, I do have Guzma, which is cool. So I have one turn, you know, where it doesn't matter, but to be honest, I kind of don't have, I mean, I'm going to need more energy, though, is the thing, to take game. So I think, uh, yeah, we'll promote this one, and we'll see. I could get beast energy, would allow me to take a knockout on the active. That top deck doesn't do anything for me. I can't let loose. I can't do anything. We are just stuck on this hand. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. So I think I, I mean, I do ultra space to thin my deck. Get another Blacephalon out. Sure, there are three beast rings in there. Three. Okay, that's fine. Sure. All right, chat, I'm getting punished for ultra balling away that Sophocles. I should have never done that. Should have never done it. Okay. I think I just save the energy switch. I hope that I just get to use energy switch for game. That's it. I have the one energy switch in my hand right now. I'm not going to manually attach to the Blacephalon. If I do that, I probably lose. So we're just going to bench the Poiple, which actually gives me more outs to get a Naginatel out. We'll attach manually, and we just need to just get as much energy into play as possible here. And then we're going to try and go for energy switch for game. Double charge up. That's it. I mean, I got plenty of energy in hand, so... We're cool. We just need my opponent to not disrupt this hand at all. And then we're fine. We'll grab the Naginadel. I mean, what more can we do, right? We've got energy, energy switch. That really should be enough to win us this game. So let's just turning point here. My opponent, though, is on their three prize turn. So maybe, ah, uh, geez. Well, if they're on their three prize turn, then I guess I just kind of go up and kill their Naginadel with another Naginadel, right? Oh, but they've just promoted Blacephalon. They don't care. They're not really concerned about the three prize thing. So maybe they've got some sauce, you know, to show me. But I think that it's, uh... I guess I could have... I probably, oh, you guys are right. Yeah, I should have just knocked out. I could have energy switched and just done it that turn. But I guess with Guzma in hand to win the game with Naginata, I should have done that. Yeah, that seems better. Yep, that, that probably was just the correct play. It's cool. I kind of just uh, thought myself into a little bubble here. You guys are correct. Thank you. All right. I don't know why I decided to do things this way. This is definitely hard mode here. But I think we're probably going to not get punished. Yeah, 100%. Not getting punished for that play. But you're, you're totally right. That was a way better route to do that. Sometimes I think too hard. You're right. So, yeah, I think if I just attack with the Blacephalon there, all I need is Guzma for game. So, you're correct. You are correct. Really thought myself into a circle. Sometimes that happens, though. You just think too hard and you make a convoluted play when really the simple play is right in front of you. We still got this one, but we did it in hard mode. Which is fine. Sometimes you just like, uh, sometimes you hard mode things. It's cool. We still got there. Major yikes, though. We almost didn't. Oh, yeah. So, we, uh, we're cool. We got here. We got, yeah. We got turn up. We got energy switch. We got everything we need to win the game. Fortunately, they did not see that it, like, they definitely should have attacked with their Naginate all this last turn. So, it doesn't actually 
make too much of a difference. But yeah, I should have just benched that Lacephalon. I don't know what was keeping me from seeing that, but sometimes, sometimes it just be like that. Cool beans. And we've got it. Mind blown for 250 for game. Because my opponent didn't attack with that Naganado. I just needed to attack Naganado that turn. I really misplayed there and almost handed it to him. But we got there. Busted Blacephalon, dude. We got Jolt Dog taking wins, Blacephalon taking wins. Remember that tool drop game earlier? That was nuts. We just totally stunted on a Picaram deck with tool drop. Remember Malamar? Malamar was awesome. Ultra Necrozma, we really got there with that. I mean, it's been pretty good morning all around. It's time for Nuzzle March. That's what I'm feeling, guys. Nuzzle March o'clock. This deck, I don't know. It's hot and it's cold. <clears throat> it's hot and it's cold. I'm hoping right now that it's hot. I appear to be playing against a, a grown man dressed as a Chikorita. Un Uncle Dolan Duck. All right, welcome, Uncle Dolan Duck, to the Tricky Gym morning stream. Pleasure to have you here. This is a pretty broken hand. I'm into it. We've got Tromboni. We've got Marshadow. We've got the, the Hopster out here ready to roll. A uh, Lily as well. And I'm going first. Yikes! It's awesome. That's a Torchic. Did I say he was dressed as a... He's dressed as a Torchic, right? What did I say? Did I say he was dressed as a Chimchar? I guess his hat does have a beak. So it could it could be a Torchic. That's pretty believable. Alright. Let's get it started here. The Nuzzle Man. Welcome. Glad to have you. Easy, easy play there, Mountain Pass. Now here is the, the real question. Do we Lily for four? Or do we say, you know what? We'll totally get Lily off this mark. Who am I kidding? Get, get it. Let's go. Let's go. Never punish. That's what I'm talking about. Right here. Boss play. All right. And then we'll Lily for five. We got a horrible draw off of that. Thank you, Josh Carnell, for the bits. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Josh. Super generous. Appreciate it. Happy to have you on board. Always a pleasure, Josh. Always a pleasure. Thank you for that. All right, so next turn. It's fine. Next turn, we'll do some more things. This is a... Uh, not the hand we wanted, but it's cool. I'll still thin my deck one with Nuzzle Gathering here, and uh, whoo boy, it's all good. Yikes, I don't really wanna let this dude just get knocked out either, but he's weak to lightning too. Oh, all right, we actually have to kinda, we have to retreat it, which is like a crucial bummer, but fine. Yes, I want to end the turn without attacking. Can I? I can't attack. It's my first turn. Yeah. So I had to get that. Uh, had to get that thing out the active. That was a. Uh, that was for sure, right? The Raikou is a card that I've seen in some Pikaram decks. I I like it in some situations. I don't like it in others. I think that Raikou is cool because it knocks out Zapdos with one Electro Power and kind of accelerates to your bench. I like that. It also can knock out things like hop ips and can knock out jump bluffs pretty easily. Just need one electro power to knock out a jump bluff, which is kind of cool. But then it also just only does 30 damage. I don't really like the base 30. Kind of wish it did a little bit more. Accelerating to the bench is fine. Honestly, it's, it's not bad. But you're like trading an attachment to Raikou to then attach one in the bench. So I don't know if it really ends up making uh, a difference too much. I'm kind of back and forth on it. Sometimes I think it's good, sometimes I think it's not. I don't personally play it in my list, but it is uh, it is what it is. It's fine inclusion, it's not bad. Just sometimes I don't think that it quite does enough to warrant a spot for me. I'm, I'm a bigger Zapdos fan, y'all know this. I probably am just super biased towards Zapdos and will play Zapdos just because it's Zapdos, but my opponent's playing both. So that's cool, and I do like that with the, man, that's unfortunate. I do like with the, who am I thinking of? Zorora, right? You get the 
free uh, retreat with Zorora, so that's much better as well. All right, we're going to thin the deck a little bit with the Floral Path into the sky here first and get ourselves Jump Bluff. Then we're going to Great Ball and see if we can't find something meaningful here, like a Hop Ep or a, just anything, really. Nothing. <laughs> just nothing. All right, that's cool. We'll just, uh, yeah, probably just going to Cynthia. And to be honest, I'll just, that's fine. Because I'm anticipating not hitting into this Raikou this turn. I'm thinking it's just not happening, guys, right? Like, it's not really a thing. It's cool. I'll just let this Amolga bounce, get knocked out, and then I'll Rescue Stretcher them back into the deck. It's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to Pokecom away this Marshadow. We desperately need another Hopip here. And it's... Let my Amolga get knocked out time. That or I could promote the Marshadow, make it a little bit more difficult. But either way, it's just kind of a crucial bummer here. Um, yeah. yeah. It's probably fine. We'll retreat to Marshadow. Sure. Bitch can't knock out my Marshadow. Probably. Yeah, they can just retreat into Zapdos and do it with Zapdos. Don't do, don't do that. Oh, that's mean. Okay, this is why I, <laughs> this is why I feel bad about Lost March. Sometimes you just get these hands, right? Yesterday on stream, I watched Large Lost March do 180 damage turn two against Item Lock and Hand Lock from Gengar Mimikyu. Today, I can't even get, I can't even get like an attack off. <laughs> it's just so bad right now. <sighs> All right, how many do we got in the law zone now? Doing two, four, six, eight, ten. We need one more. Or as, you know, I like to say, uno mas. All right, we'll Cynthia. We did get a Lost Blender. Okay, but no energy. All right, it's fine. <laughs> we'll Lost Blender away. The Natu and the Trumbeak. And we got another Natu. All right, my man. I ain't got nothing in that deck to look for. The ball is in your court. That's it. I don't think that there's any way I can win this game now. We are so far behind that my opponent can quite literally do anything, I think, for the remainder of the game and just chalk it up as a dub, right? They can just go find a switch maybe here. Or get themselves a Zorora, give them free retreat, and that's that's it. Oh yeah, there's Zorora. Just a field full of GXs. An absolute field day for a Lost March deck, and I can't punish them at all. Oh, but with Thunder Mountain, you've unlocked my trap card, sir. Now I can nuzzle for free. So let's see if we can't capitalize on this. My opponent's gonna get a little greedy here. And they're going to full blitz, okay? Get some energy into play. Go down to three prizes. We'll see if we can't stop them in their tracks. We're going to... Okay. Here's the play. I'm not knocking out the peak around this turn, but I am going to nuzzle him, okay? If I flip heads on paralysis, I could... I'm saying it's possible that I could get enough Pokemon in the Lost Zone by next turn to knock him out in one hit. It's not happening this turn for sure, but maybe by next turn. We're doing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay, 14. I need some more action. It's not going to happen. All right, we're going to see. Uh, yeah, we need him to not Guzma either. Marshadow can retreat with both energy. You have to waste a DC. On a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, people are talking about whether or not it's beneficial to play a Ranguru in the deck. Hmm. All right, let's, uh, we're going to Trombone. Very good. He's got a lightning energy on tap. It's fine. Cool with it. Then, I think it's time to rescue Stretcher our fellas back into the deck. Nope. Ah, yeah. I did that wrong. I needed a great ball first. It's fine. All right, needed a great ball first. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. See? Psh, trash. Needed to find a hop hip instead. It's cool. All right. Then we're going to let loose. Four cards. It's fine. Yikes. All right, now we'll nuzzly, nuzzly gathering. Crack 
grab ourselves another nuzzle man. Cool. Needed to hit the hop up there. I messed that up crucially. I only got two blunders in deck two. All right, now we're gonna see if we can't, you know, I don't know, stall him for a couple turns. Nuzzle. All right, if you, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, all right, Nuzzle. Let's go. How many Pokemon do we have in here? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 160. We're gonna need probably at least another couple turns of Nuzzle. <laughs> it's not, uh, need, gonna need a couple turns of Nuzzle here. And then we need to knock out this guy without him ever attacking, that's for sure. He's got the Cynthia, so we at least have one more turn. But with eight guys down, I would need to draw into an absolutely broken hand off this Erica's to make it work. I mean, I need to see like double Lost Blender, double Trumbeak, and a Skip Loom. It's gotta be all that. He did give me a full bench to work with though. Oh no, oh we lose. <laughs> That's not, oh no. Uh, guys, all right. We did our best. Tapu Coco, too good. All right. You have a good deck, sir. First, you got to tell him. You got to tell him first. Well played. You have a good deck. I'm out. Goodbye. All right. We're going to try and roll that again. That was that was not good. I, I believe in Lost, Lost March more than that, though. We have way more potential than what we saw right there. That was an embarrassing show for our Lost March deck. Definitely think that it's stronger than that, but I will admit that that does happen, okay? That happens, that makes me uneasy. I don't know that I would roll up to a tournament with Lost March just because that makes me sketched out when you just don't start the way. Now, this hand is gorgeous, okay? There's no way, there's no way we mess up this hand, all right? There's no way, I'm just saying it. This is absolutely everything you want. Turn one Lost March right here. Started the Amolga, we got Natu, we got Hoppip, Vulpix in the act. We're cool in here, 100%. Playing against some sort of Decidueye deck. That's not good. That's bad. We could definitely turn into, uh, we could definitely get punished here, 100%. With some sort of Nine Tails Decidueye thing. If they end up evolving into the uh, Alola Nine Tails, they can snipe 70 30 to me. The Decidueye is snipe 20s. It's just all bad, really. Really, is kind of a nightmare. But we're going to try and get in here really quick and do some quick damage output to their Zoroarks and to their Decidueyes and hope that, hope that we're good to go. They got Ditto, they got Zerua, they got a full bench, they got the whole squad. All we need is three Pokemon in the Lost Zone, though. Double Lost Blunder. Let's get it. Yeah, so we're going to do that. The Marsh Shadow is not really who I want to see. I'm cool with it, though. You know what? Cool with it. Check this out. I'm actually going to Nuzzly Gathering first to get one of these Lost Blunders out of my hand. So we're going to do that, and then just Lost Blunder away. The Marsh Shadow and the Amolga It's fine. Pokemon communication. I've already Nuzzle Gathering here, so we're just gonna Lily for five. Major yikes, but we do have two, but I missed my double colorless, so we're not gonna attack this turn, which is unfortunate. Also, where have all my hopips gone? Man, dude, we need to be seeing way more hopips out here. That is for sure. Okay, so unfortunately, didn't quite get there because we don't have an energy. It's cool. Go ahead. Thank you, Zach Prof, for the sub, my man. Appreciate it. Thanks for the love, dude. You rock. Welcome to the club, Zach. Hopefully, we'll be seeing you around here shortly. I know you're probably still enjoying your post-marriage, hopefully honeymoon and all that. Hopefully, you're having a good time. Thank you, Zach, for the support, as always. So my opponent's got Timer Ball. They're going to go get that Alolan Ninetales. Going to allow them to get some more kind of evolution Pokemon in play. Sketch. 
I think if they just get, honestly, a couple Decidueyes up this turn, it's probably game over. All of my bench dudes have 40 hit points. Two Decidueyes is just an absolute nightmare. Right. <laughs> oh, Jesse, thank you so much for the bits. Appreciate it, Jesse. Thank you for joining us, even though you were at work. Enjoy your work day, my man. Speaking of work, it's getting to be about that time for me as well out work a clock here. Usually start work around noon. We started the stream a little bit late today because I was having, for those of you guys that didn't see, you could check my Twitter at enjoyfriend, D-N-J-O-I friend, but I was having some crazy kind of red screen of death situation this morning when I started PTCGO and it made my screen flash like a million times. All right, you know what? We're not even gonna, you know, you have a good deck, well played. All right, now, yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. All right, we're out of here. It's not, it's not happening. Not worth it. All right, we're gonna play one more game. We're packing up Lost March, guys. That uh, packing up Lost March. Not, not doing it. All right, not doing it today. We'll play one more. I feel like I want a good game where we get to. I will right, play Tool Drop. All right, let's get in there with Tool Drop. See if we can't just make some things happen. Uh, Will Franklin, aren't you working right now? Technically, yes, I am tech. This is also technically work. I, it's not, I mean, it feels like play, but it definitely kind of is work too. KDO77, thank you so much for the bits. And the Lime Nader, the Limeator with a sub. Thank you so much. Yes, KDC, I stream on Monday and Wednesday evenings. The rest of the week, I stream at 10 a.m. in the morning. So if you're more of an evening guy, Monday and Wednesdays are going to be your nights. I am also going to be streaming on Saturday during the mid-afternoon to evening from about um, from about 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. for the Full Grip Games League Cup. Yes, Conwa Dupe, I do work at Full Grip Games. This is my job. So I work at Full Grip. Everybody who supports the shop by buying singles, cards, codes, all that from FullGripGames.com supports me directly because I work here. So you're supporting like me, my paychecks, my job, my livelihood, my healthcare, all that. <laughs> so that all really helps. So everybody who supports the channel that way by buying cards from Full Grip, that's awesome. Uh, also, all the all the you know the donations, the bits, the subs, the follows, that all really helps too. So thank you guys so much. Everybody who supports the channel, however they support the channel, even just talking, chatting, all that, hanging out, up in the view count. It all helps. So thank you guys so much for everything you do to support the channel. And thank you to the mods as well. I've been streaming a lot lately. And we just got into streaming every day of the week. So big shout out to the mods for hanging out and supporting the channel and helping to get things looking right during the streams. Also big shout out to Natalie for she is just like on top of everything as far as getting the chat to look right, getting uh, all the all the things in the back end situated. So she is uh, absolutely a godsend for that stuff. Um, let's see here. What do we actually, this is kind of a terrible turn one, I want to say. It's like not a good opening hand here. Whew, okay. I think I want to attach the double colorless and Cynthia. That's kind of just where I'm at. So it doesn't feel good, but I'll do it. And then, yeah, we got the Jirachi, we got an escape board, and we got a nest ball. Okay. I mean, I could retreat into the Jirachi, I guess. The Genesec being down feels kind of bad. Not going to lie. Probably shouldn't have put that down. Right. The goggles out. Oh, the goggles will be busted, right? I think I kind of need to retreat into the Jirachi just to make this happen. It's not happening without the Jirachi, so. Yeah, that's, that's play there, and then we're going to nest ball. Get ourselves probably. Ah, oh, ditto. I guess. No, oh, everything's just gonna get sniped. It's just we're losing this game for sure. I feel like the ditto would be really good to get. Yeah, we do need the goggles for sure. The goggles just stop everything, which is great. Okay, we can make the goggles work. We just need to get them. In order to get them, I need a couple Jirachis. All right, that's that's it. It ain't happening without Jirachi, folks. So we're going to retreat into the Jirachi. Give it a wish. Got the bag. Oh, busted bag. All right, we'll go for the bag here. And the bag is going to get us some goggles. 
Excelente. I will definitely go for double goggles. Only two goggles in deck? What happened to my other goggles? All right, that's fine. We'll go here. We'll go here. It's about, it's about all we could do, right? Goggles definitely help, but preventing the, the 20 damage there, very, very good on the flying flip. At least it's going to give that Genesect a little more. No! Uh. <laughs> I think we just re-roll and try another one, right? This is not... <laughs> Who plays Field Blower in 2019? I don't think that we can win, guys. That was That was too rough. I'm feeling too demoralized. I guess, and hey, we'll give it a couple turns here and see if we can't pull out of this tailspin, but this feels bad. Kukui's, all that. No, 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 no. It's, it's not happening, fellas. Field blower, how many does he play? <laughs> how many could he possibly play? Oh God, this is horrible. Horrible. Oh, no. Okay. We got counter energy. We got stellar wish. Let's see if we can't get anything off of the... Uh... Yeah, we'll stellar wish. Lily seems good. So that at least means we don't outright lose, but we probably are very close. We'll go here. We'll go... I can't even attach those energies. Oh, it feels horrible. We got double colorless. Okay. We got the hone edge. We got choice band, but I'm not doing anywhere near enough damage to take a knockout. It's all bad, guys. All bad. I'm just going to, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, 40 damage. Dude, metal. All right. You know what? It was close. You have a good deck. I'm out. <laughs> Whew. I need a better game to sign off. We're, gonna, we're doing a sign-off game, all right? I need a better game than that. I am not trudging through that mess. We're playing Jolt Dog again. All right. Not trudging through that mess, okay? Not not like that. We need to win a game. I'm gonna play a game that I know I can win. We're gonna summon the uh summon the Jolt Dog here. See if Jolt Dog can take us to the promised land. Zekrom, you're right. I have not played Pikaram. I don't know about Pikaram. I don't know. I'm not as high on Pikaram as other players are. LDG Grop. Feeling like we can beat LDG LDG Grop and their fire psychic deck. What's up, Daniel Davis? Welcome. <laughs> Zach, I know. So troubling. We're fine, though. Zap Dog! This is the ultimate Zap Dog deck, because not only are we playing Zapdos, we're also playing Jolteon. It's kind of a dog, right? So it could just be Zap Dog the deck. Zapdos, the, the Thunderbird, Dog the Jolteon. We're going first against Bocephalon. Easy mode. Let's go. We've got probably turn one. We're going to switch into... We're going to grab a switch and a lightning energy. And then we're just going to switch into Jolt... Or the... Yeah, you already know who it is. Wait. I can't grab switch. Oh, no. This is not as easy as a turn as I thought it was. Okay. We could grab Ultra Ball. We could grab Nest Ball. I kind of need to grab Nest Ball. Hmm, I have Guzma. All right, we're going to end up guzma -ing. So we're going to get the... This is this is the play here. Next turn, we're guzma Going to get myself the Jirachi here. Busted. We've got Zapdos. We've got Energies. And we just, like, go from there. And then next turn, you know what? We're going to Guzma up a Poiple. And we're going to knock it out. That's going to be our turn one. Our turn two. Ultra Space, unfortunately, doesn't really do anything for me here. You ever kind of like look at this card? I haven't really looked at it closely. It's got kind of like a weird thing going on. It's like a wormhole, but then there's like some rocks. And then there's these kind of green, red, and blue things that look like nets. They look like colorful nets and then like a couple of orange bubbles. I guess it's kind of convincing, okay? It's like some, you know, wormhole space looking thing. I just never really looked at it. You kind of like look closer at cards and just, some some artwork is like very ugly. I, I do say that I don't think this is an ugly card, but if you ever just like look closely at some cards, you're like, wow, what is going on there? 
What's going on with this poipal? You ever look closely at this poipal? I bet you've never noticed that there is a tree in the background of this poipal, a big dead tree. Did you ever notice that? This might be your first time. Now you'll never be able to unsee the tree, okay? There's a big dead tree back there, and it looks like he's kind of bursting through the ground. Ditto, nothing exciting about this ditto, except for the fact that I love his pose and the flame, the green flame. He actually is a very exciting looking card, but nothing new to unveil there in the background of the ditto. Just a, he's on green fire for some reason. Oh, we're getting goosed. That's fine. Should have put my choice band down. Eh, actually, I'm not mad that I didn't put the choice band down. I feel like it wasn't the, uh, wasn't the play. All right, we've got switches. We've got Volkners. We're cool. We've got Eevee here on board. This is, this is the hand we wanted for sure. Bursting burn. I disagree with that play 100%. I think you just go for the burst GX there every time. But alas, here we are. So, Volkner can get me a skateboard, switch. I think we probably switch first into the Jirachi, and that way we kind of just choose our path from there. I'll nest ball. We're going to grab ourselves another Jirachi just in case. Then we just Stellar Wish. See what the deck unveils here. I really love Shrine. That's cool. Electro Power, also cool, but we'll just grab the Shrine, disrupt my opponent a little bit. And then we got Sir Volkner, and that will be fantastic for grabbing us a, huh, I could next level him in like Escape Rope. I think I'm kind of into that. Yeah, we Escape Rope, take a guaranteed knockout with Zapdos, go down a prize, take a prize. It's kind of cool. I think that's a cute play. All right, I am gonna need the escape board eventually, so that's something to think about. But I'm kind of into this. We'll let the shrine kind of eat him a little bit, and then we'll see if we can't just take a one-hit knockout on the Lacephalon at some point later in the game. It's kind of the mode. But I do need to find an escape board. That's that's definitely true. This next turn, I mean, I guess. Ooh, we got Guzma. Saucy. All right, we can make it happen for sure. Guzma next turn. Maybe I take out a Poipul, maybe a Ditto. These are both really good. The Volkner can get me the escape board if I need that. I'm going to save the Eevee. I mean, I could probably bench it, I guess. Oh, really? He's got Muck. This is, all of a sudden, very bad. <laughs> okay, I see what you got going on there, sir. So he's going to make me, oh, he's going to make me work for this. Oh, he's going to make me work for sure. I don't know if we can overcome the muck, but we're going to do our best here. I forgot that that was going to be a thing. And yes, I do play Shrine with Jolt Dog. Jolt Dog really only gets in there when he needs to. It is primarily a Zapdos Shrine deck featuring Jolt Dog and also uh, featuring Tapu Koko GX. Huh, very bad. He's got knockout on my Zapdos if he cleans all his energy out. He might just burst GX. Ah, eh, no, he's gonna mind blow. Okay. This guy full of full of confounding plays. Let's see here. What do we do to get ourselves out of this one? I can go get Faulkner, Lightning Energy. I need to find the Yeah, all three. It's fine. Need to find an electro. I need double electro power to knock out that muck. That thing's got too many hit points, my man. Too many. We'll just promote Jirachi. And now the whole engine kind of shuts down. I didn't realize that I just had spaced on the muck. I just forgot about it. It's cool. I can't really take a knockout on his bench, so I'm going to save that Guzma. And we'll just Lily for four cards. That's actually totally good. So... I think here, we kind of need a, uh, hmm, I'll attach to the Eevee, it's fine. And then we're just going to Nest Ball, I guess we go get ourselves another Zapdos, then the deck a little bit more. We need an Electro Power, and then I can Volkner potentially to get myself, yeah, it's just we're in a horrible spot here, for sure. 
I can swift run GX, the Bolcephalon, which is kind of interesting. I could also hit him for 80, but 80 plus 30 on the Jolteon is not enough to knock him out either. So just in a tight spot. I could take a prize here, Guzming the Poipol. I do like that. I'm expecting that my Jirachi doesn't get knocked out this turn since my opponent <clears throat> cleared themselves out with the, uh, you know, with that last mind blown. So they'd have to hit an energy switch in order to perform mind blown again. And if they do that, it's fine. I don't really mind if the Jirachi goes down. It can't even really attack. So it's really just okay. And I could Guzma up the Poipol, knock it out, or I could Guzma up this Blacephalon and hit into it. I'm kind of into both plays. I don't run, I don't like, don't mind either of them. I got to think like which one is going to be the most optimal here. Rescue Stretcher doesn't really get me anything too much. Feels like a Guzma play here for sure. I think we just take our prize, but then we unlock Beast Ring, which is a crucial bummer. I think we kind of just have to do it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that feels like the play. Probably Guzma Poiple. That or I hit into this Blacephalon, which like doesn't feel horrible, but it's not good, right? <laughs> it's like not not good. So yeah, we're we're just gonna goose on this dude. All right, let's let's do it. Make my opponent work for this thing. And we'll thunder self for eighty damage. <clears throat> the Volkner can get me, like I said, Ultra Ball and Energy, which is what I need to attack with Jolteon. So that's pretty good. I can Swift Run. It'll buy me a turn. And really just softening things up is kind of fine here. Them having to let three energy go in order to knock out the Zapdos is like super good for me as well. But that muck is probably just going to ruin me here. The turn two muck is just really, really yikes. <laughs> it's all good though. I just forgot that the Blacephalon, honestly, I saw the ditto. I just forgot that the Blacephalon deck plays Muck sometimes. So, I do generally think that this is, oh, he's going to burn again? This guy is total savage. What is he doing? Huh? He's just playing with me, dude. You're going to get punished for this. <laughs> I hate to say it, but, like, my man, like, this is a this strategy that you're working on here. I don't know if it's like gonna work out for you. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, hey, I'll take a gift. Uh, let's. I think we just Volkner here. No, we're gonna Guzma. I don't know what to Guzma. All right, we're gonna Guzma up this guy. Sure. And then I'm just going to. Attach here, Thunderous Assault, okay. That's what we got, right? I, I mean, I get it for sure. He's making it so he only needs to discard two energy. It's just kind of like, my man, all right. Uh, I think he's might be playing a little bit too patiently. He might think that I just can't win because he's got this muck in play, but that's just not the case. Like, I could win for sure. Now, if he doesn't take out that Eevee, I don't know what he's doing. All right, he took out the Eevee. Surely enough, he's like, ah, I see what you're doing here, my man. Now, hopefully he just mind blowns or something. I mean, if he if he just, uh, or hopefully he burst GXs. I really, at this point, I could see him burst GXing. I wouldn't be terribly surprised. So if he burst GX with the Eevee active, that would be incredible. Right? I mean, that would just be way too good. So... I guess we can Volkner for the, uh, I mean, we can Rescue Stretcher for the for the Eevee back. That's fine. And then I'm going to end up using Volkner this turn. So we're still like, I can eventually do it, right? It's just kind of ugly. <laughs> I don't like it. All right. And both of his dudes have some damage on them. We just need more. We need another draw card. But I don't actually play a ton of draw cards in the deck, obviously, because your Jirachi just usually can go get them. <clears throat> Oh, yes. Thank goodness. Okay. So we can uh, 
we can make this work. Put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. I'm gonna bring the Eevee back. And actually what I'm gonna do is, weirdly enough, this is still a Volkner turn, okay? You might be kinda like, Mahone, are you serious? Yeah, it's still a Volkner turn. Because you just want to, all I want to do this turn is attack with a Zapdos, like 100%. This is the perfect turn for me to have. I just bop him for, for 80 here. And then next turn, I Cynthia, and I need to hit into, I need to grab a, a Jolteon, really, or a Choice Band, really anything would work. And getting the escape board on the Jirachi is just something that needed to happen because now we just have an attack with Zapdos easy into this Blacephalon next turn. I could hit Shrine. Shrine would help me get there to deal 90 damage to this thing. There are like a bunch of outs that I have now to make this uh, to make this work. You guys can see this is like a, a Zapdos deck, not an easy deck to play. It's really not for the Huh, not for the light of heart. It is a grinder for sure. It feels like a shrine deck. I mean, it just kind of is a shrine deck. Okay. So, I think I actually just thin the... I just think I just thin the thing out of my deck. Oh, no, no, we don't. All right, I'm not going not gonna to switch. I'm just going to see what our out is here. All right, that was, that was good. We got what we needed. I have Volkner. I have Ultra Ball for next turn. So I actually have everything I need here. We just go boom, do that. Put the other escape board down. Retreat, take the knockout with Zapdos. And then we just uh, have a pretty good shot at game. All I need to do is Volkner, Ultra Ball. I mean, obviously, and we can't even get let loosed. That's the beautiful thing because my opponent's muck makes it so they can't let loose. So I just have this hand, right? Just guaranteed have this hand. So what I need to do is just go in with my Jolteon this next turn, knock out the Naginatel with Swift Run. Oh my gosh, what a crazy game, dude. Crazy game. Whew. Definitely a grinder, but really nice knowing that we're not getting let loose here because this hand is perfect. It's all I need to win the game. Get myself the Jolteon, go in, knock out the Naginatel, and then I'll be able to knock out any of his benched Pokemon the following turn. He can't Beast Ring here either. So he's off his Beast Ring turn, and we're kind of able to just get there with the... Uh, the Zapdos deck. I don't know if I necessarily agree with all my opponent's plays leading up to this. I think that they were probably, I think they kind of underestimated this deck a little bit too much and thought that the muck would just allow them to play as slow as they wanted to. It's just not the case. So we now have Ultra Ball away, the Nest Ball, and another Ultra Ball, I think. Yeah, we're just, we're going to Ultra Ball away these guys get ourselves the Jolteon. Oh my gosh, I prized it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now we lose. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. oh no, we prized it, guys. Oh lordy, okay. Oh, now we lose, I spoke too soon. Okay. Oh my gosh. Guys, please send your regards in the chat. I thought we had it the whole time. What an insane major yikes moment. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. All right. Hmm. I don't think there's, yeah, I'm just playing one Jolteon in the list. Usually you have it by now. The odds of last prizing that thing are like not big. Okay. I think I just need to go get... Hmm. 
I need to promote something that can't be knocked out. We could still win this one. They can't let loose me. They can't take a knockout with that Naganadel. So, I think we just, I can't knock out the Naganadel. So we just wait on this hand and we try to win with Zapdos next turn. All right. I think uh, there's no point in attaching to that thing. I think it does just thin the deck one, though, so I'm kind of into it. It's cool. All right. And then by promoting something my opponent can't KO with Naganadel, we force them to bring up Blacephalon. That or they just go for like a two hit KO here eventually, which is like not good. Um, I'm gonna rescue Stretcher. I really am not like super keen on the timer right now. That's not helping me at all. All right. So with the Zapdos in my hand, I mean, I can just, I could hit into the Naganado, but I've got no escape plan. So I really just have to pass with the Stellar Wish guy active and hope my opponent brings up Blacephalon. That's it. Oh, hello, Chan. I think it's Chani. I can't tell. My screen is very bright. But if they bring up the Blacephalon and just burst GX, we can win. They can't knock out Jirachi because of that mighty resistance there. So I am very, very much on the wire here. We needed, uh, we needed that Jolteon to be in deck. If the Jolteon's in deck, I easily just Electro Power knock out the Naganadel, and then we're just like cruising here. You can't take a knockout on my Jirachi. So I will just gladly kind of retreat between Jirachis until we get something else going on. I don't think I can. And with a switch, I can two hit KO him potentially, but I don't want him to. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna wait it out. I need more energy in my hand for sure. I could uh, promote the Tapu Koko Prism Star, right? I mean, if they knock it out with a Beast Energy, that's really bad. Oh, they're getting a new Blacephalon charged up. This is like horrible. I just need to find Guzma here, and then I can win. I guess there's probably there's two Guzma left in the deck. If I top deck it here, I win. If I don't top deck it, I think we lose, fellas. I think we lose. It's not looking good. They got energy switch. They got everything they need. So tough stuff there. Trying to trudge through the muck. Nasty last two prizes with the Jolteon there. Probably just out of luck here. Unless it's Guzma for game. Let's see. Can it happen? Or are we just uh, are we just done though? All right, let's see. Sixteen cards in deck. I got two Guzmas in there. Let's see it. Ah no. All right. Well, that is it. I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I'm just kind of out of it. We got one Electro Power, one Choice Band. I'm doing like 80, 110, 140. Just not enough. So unfortunately, our Zapdos couldn't quite get there. Uh, we just uh, a little bit short. It's all good. We were really close. Without Jirachi's ability, the entire game, really, just kind of trudging through that matchup. So, tough stuff there. My opponent has it. We did the best we could, and that's it. I got to get to work, guys. So, thank you so much for everybody who joined us today. Excellent stream. Shout out to all the people who donated bits. Appreciate it. Shout out to everybody who subbed to the channel, gave the channel a follow. Everybody who is participating in the chat, making it a lively Thursday morning. Appreciate you guys showing up for the morning streams. The morning streams are some of my favorite to do. I'm going to be streaming uh, mornings three days a week. So we are doing, thank you, Conwa Dupe, for the second month. The sub, appreciate it. We're going to be doing morning streams on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And then we do afternoon streams, night streams, I should say around 7, 8 p.m. on Mondays and Wednesdays. The schedule is posted in the, I guess, area 
down there, right? You can check that out. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com if you are looking to pick up any of the cards to build any of the decks that I built today. Help support me as a content creator and the shop and my job. That would be awesome. And big shout out to everybody who's already done so. Uh, also, big shout out to the mods. Thank you guys for moderating the chat and just hanging out during the stream. Really appreciate you all as well. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Catch me here tomorrow morning. Happy Valentine's Day tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. We'll be back at it again, streaming some tournaments on PTCGO since the Team Up cards will finally be legal, I believe, tomorrow morning. So thank you all for hanging out. Have a great day. Peace.